March 11th is the next big day that we need to watch very closely. I have all the details for you in this video. Let's get right into it. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video. As all of this information continues to change very, very rapidly right now, there is so much going on during this time, but I'm watching everything closely. I'm breaking it all down into these short videos, which I deliver a few times each and every day so that you can get the latest details hot off the wire as this information is being released and as it is being announced. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so quite yet so I can keep you updated during this very busy and confusing time. All right, thanks again. Let's jump right into it. All right, so there is a lot going on, not only right here in this country, but all around the world right now. It seems a little bit chaotic, honestly. I think a lot of us can probably agree with that, but ultimately we do need to continue watching all of this very closely because you never know what may be announced, what may be coming up, what kind of pieces of legislation are going forward, what kind of key dates are on our doorstep, just like the one we're going to be talking about right here in this video, as well as so many other things that are going on out there right now that we certainly need to be very vigilant about as far as just everything going on. So if you've been watching any videos for a while now, you know that lately, wow, it has really picked up with everything going on. But anyway, another key date that we need to have on our radar going forward is March 11th. This is going to be another big day that we certainly need to watch very, very closely, and it is coming in quick. All right, so let's quickly talk about what March 11th represents and what we need to watch for leading up to this date. All right, so as we do know, Congress is once again starting to talk about and starting to work on different provisions of the Build Back Better agenda. Now remember, it is no longer called the Build Back Better agenda because that's just what they've dropped on it. They've dropped the name and they are likely going to be focusing on individual portions of this legislation. Now remember, the Build Back Better agenda is what we were we're referring to as the stimulus package, but I'm not calling it that right now in this video. I'm just giving you that for a reference point so that we're all on the same page and that we know what we're talking about. So Congress has once again started to pick up negotiations and started to play around with the ideas of these different provisions in individual pieces of legislation, which was actually started out on the State of the Union address from President Biden a few days ago. Well, as a result of that, Congress is starting to play around with these ideas once again with all of these different pieces of legislation that should have been in the Build Back Better agenda, but now are here set out individually one by one. And he's calling on, or uh, the president, I should say, President Biden is calling on Congress to get these done one at a time and basically send them to his desk so that he can sign them into law. Well, at the same time, we got to watch March 11th because you never know what Congress may actually try to get done on that date and actually tie it to another massive piece of legislation. So here's what we're looking at right now. As of right now, Congress is currently working on a $1.5 trillion spending bill to get the federal government from where we are currently right now out until the end of the fiscal year, which actually ends at the end of September this year. So September 30th is the end of the fiscal year and October 1st is the beginning of the new fiscal year, right? Yeah, right? All right. So with that being said, they are currently working on this $1.5 trillion spending bill. Well, as a result of that, March 11th is the day in which they need to get this bill passed by midnight that day. Otherwise, we may be looking at a potential government shutdown simply because, yes, the same old reason we've been talking about this for so many months now. The government continues to pass these short-term spending bills, these stopgap bills or the continuing resolution as we refer referred to them in previous videos, but they continue passing these all the way from the fiscal year of last year. When it started on October 1st of last year, that's when the fiscal year started. They've been kicking the can down the road with these short-term spending bills. And now, once again, the deadline is coming up upon us right here at the end of the day on March 11th. So they either need to do one of two things. They either need to pass another short-term stopgap bill or uh, continuing resolution to keep the government funded, or um, I, I, the other option would be to pass this $1.5 trillion package that'll get the government through the end of the fiscal year, September 30th, or the other option would be going to a government shutdown. Well, I think all of us can probably agree the last option on our list right now, considering everything going on out there, would probably be the government shutdown. We do not want that. Trust me, we do not want that, especially with everything going on right now. We certainly want them to continue to stay funded and everything going on perfectly smoothly or 
I don't really know if perfectly smooth would be a, a good way to describe what is going on right now, but at least we could say somewhat smooth, like driving down a gravel road, right? <laughs> very smooth, right? Not. Anyway, so my point is, we've got to watch March 11th very closely. Now, here's another thing that they typically do. When they usually do these big bills like this, $1.5 trillion is what we have on the table right now. When they typically do big bills like this, they usually like to add onto it other little pieces of legislation. You know, 20 billion here, 50 billion there, 12 billion there, things like this. They try to add little, um, you know, little bills attached to it. It kind of gives me a funny analogy. Have you ever heard about this? Again, I'm gonna go off, totally digress on something different here, but it gives me this funny analogy and I think this would be kind of a funny uh, depiction of what we're actually seeing here. So, <clears throat> Just imagine like a whale. Have you ever heard about this? Whales, right? They have like these little plankton type things that uh, like attach to a whale and then they like clean the whale as it like swims around the ocean. That's kind of like what this is with the legislation, right? You got the $1.5 trillion whale swimming around and then you've got these little like sucker type tools or little gadgets, whatever these things are called. Honestly, I don't really know what they're called. Um, these little things in the ocean that attach to whales and they basically like clean them. In other words, like they eat the stuff off of them. Um, have you ever heard about these things? You probably know what it is. You're probably gonna write the comments down below saying, here's what it's called. And that's totally fine. I don't know everything and I'm totally fine admitting I don't know everything. Um, but anyway, um, I do know that that is a thing because once a time, a long time ago, I watched a, a, um, a documentary about like ocean life. I don't know, kind of cool stuff. But anyway, the analogy is basically the $1.5 trillion package is like this big whale swimming around and all these little packages possibly attached to it. Well, Congress has a history of doing this. Well, as a result of that, we may need to look at this $1.5 trillion uh, big spending bill and see what else they want to attach to it to also get passed through the same time, the same same set of votes to pass through this big bill along with anything that may be attached to it, right? Like a leech, right? Well, I guess that would have been a good analogy. <laughs> a leech. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I didn't exactly want to say that, but my point is it, you kind of get what I'm saying here. So we, we might have to watch this very closely and see what Congress actually attaches to the $1.5 trillion package out of the previous Build Back Better agenda or what we were previously calling the stimulus package. They may try to pull a little sneaky snake move here and grab some of these provisions out of the stimulus package or the Build Back Better agenda as we were previously referring to it as and attach it right on that $1.5 trillion package and try to get it through as one big massive bill kind of under the whole umbrella with the whole thing passed through at once. But either way, the moral of the story is Congress needs to get something done by March 11th, by the end of the day that day. Otherwise, we could be looking at a government shutdown once again. In fact, just a few weeks ago, we were dealing with this exact same situation. As I laid it out, I said, hey, the current continuing resolution that they were passing back at that time just a couple weeks ago, I said, this is only going to get us until March 11th. And then we're going to be having this same exact conversation once again. Um, well, here we are, and usually Congress has the history of waiting until the very last day, even the last couple hours in some instances, where finally they wait until the last minute and then they say, hey, we're about to shut down in 26 minutes, let's quickly get this done. Now, obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but my point is usually they wait until the very last minute to get these types of bills done. So again, we'll have to watch this one closely. I highly doubt a government shutdown is on the table right now, considering everything going on. I think probably everybody within Congress is probably going to agree that, hey, let's agree to disagree, and let's just say, um, let's just say we gotta get something done here because we ultimately know we can't go into a government shutdown. But the real question is going to be one of uh, the next following questions I have for you, which would be number one, will they pass a continuing resolution? In other words, a short term, uh, basically patch to keep the government funded. Will the government pass a longer term solution to keep us funded through the end of the fiscal year? Will we potentially go into a government shutdown and or will we potentially add any provisions from the Build Back Better agenda called stimulus package into this bill and get it all done at the same time? All of that is still up in the air right now. We not we don't really know that quite yet, but only a few more, um, a little bit of time here will tell, and we will know exactly what we will be seeing here in just a matter of days as it comes to you know the end of the day, March 11th, and 
what's on the table going forward. So only time will tell, and it's not that much time away from now, and we will have our answers. But anyway, we've got to watch that day very closely, just like everything else going on around the world right now, and ultimately this country, and what Congress may be looking at going forward to help out us, the American people, during this very difficult time. Anyway, I'm doing all the research. I'm watching everything closely. I'll let you know as we do get more details on any kinds of announcements out of the administration, Congress, anybody out there, don't worry, I'll break it down in these short videos. So make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so quite yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,200 videos right here on the channel. And I'll catch you again later in the next video. Thanks again.